Hello, dear viewers, again. We are coming back after a short technical break. And we continue celebration of Pastor Sunday's birthday. We have lots of guests who came to celebrate it with Pastor Sunday. And actually now, Pastor Sunday is sharing his testimony. So, Pastor Sander says that the way I survived in Soviet Union is, is a real miracle because it was very difficult to survive in Soviet Union. But God was with us. We are under God's control. We are under God's cover. Pastor said that it was very difficult for me to go through competition uh, when I was entering the university because uh, 1,000 students competed for one play, place at the university. God will always be with God will always be with us, and He will show His power. He will manifest His strength. Sometimes we are very afraid for our, for our actions. Sometimes we are afraid for our life because we think it may depend on us. No, but there is someone who is above us. If you do something wrong, and if you are confident that you are with God and you are sincere with that, God will find a way how to direct you, how to fix everything, how to settle everything for you. The most important is to be sincere. Minister to God, don't worry. When we start worrying, you know, it says that we are in control. My actions determine what's going to happen. No, it has to be your faith that has to determine what's going to happen. It has to be your hope. It shouldn't be your righteousness. The Bible says that there is no righteous person. So it's God. It's God, and His mercy keeps us. His mercy holds us. Pastor Sunday, I have a question. I paid attention that your children, they were... very confident as personality and together with that an amazing honor and we noticed that when Stabosia was speaking Paris was staring at her Paris was staring at Stabosia when she was speaking the her congratulatory speech so how did you bring up your children the day I saw in in uh, teenagers age but you know they're not rebel rebels they're not rebels so how did you manage to bring them up i have written seven books about how to bring up children we have read all these books hmts so how do i bring up I, before before three years old, I just loved them. I didn't bring them up. Maybe a mother was bringing up more. But I was just near, just to give them comfort and love. And after three years, my program started. My program is to train them regularly, every day. I taught them principles. I taught them laws. I taught them values. So take any book, Principles of Love, Why You Should Love God. 
So during a week you, we were studying this topic. What is honoring? What is honoring God? What is honoring people? And I am not just teaching. We take some tests, we take text, we read it and we discuss it. How they understand it. So this becomes their knowledge and it becomes my knowledge as well. Not, not only my knowledge, but their knowledge becomes their revelation. So my matter is to instill values, to instill skeleton pillars. And mother was doing all this regular, regular stuff. They, she was teaching them, to, she was correcting them, but we should thank Pastor Bosse more as their mother. Kate says, I work with teenagers, so how do we bring up teenagers? How do we bring up grateful hearts? Gratefulness, grateful hearts has to become one of the values. Usually when we bring up children and we allow them to grow and we just correct them on the go. We, when we work like firemen, it does work, but when we monumentally, when we work monumentally, then it works better. You have to instill values. Pastor Sunday, for my family, you are a blessing, and due to you, we have a son. As you prayed for us, and on summer holidays, our children spent <laughs> on summer holidays. Our children spent in in your house, maybe. <laughs> Two summer ho holidays in a row, our children spent in your house. So, would you mind? Would you mind if they would come to see, to, to stay in, in his house again? So every summer, Pastor Bosa has summer camp for children in this house, and I think we will be able to invite them. But if I have opportunity this year to accept them and to train them, as it was the last year, I don't know. I am not sure because probably. I will start traveling. <laughs> so most probably I'll start traveling. And I believe that something is going to happen before the end of this summer. But you definitely can invite them for a camp. So people are asking me they they want to bring their children for a summer camp that is going to happen at Pastor Sunday's house. And the main focus of what we are doing here is to develop personality. We teach them life. We teach them live early. So our children are very intellectually developed. They use computers, they use uh, social networks, they use internet very quickly. So, you know, we are outdated sometimes compared to our children. So one can come and any like from eight to twelve or to fifteen years old.
Okay, dear viewers, we will get back to you shortly. Remember to join us live Ask Pastor Sunday session that is going to be at 8 o'clock Kyiv time, 6 o'clock UK time, 6 o'clock Africa time, Nigerian time, and 1 o'clock US time, Eastern US time. See you shortly.